Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can actually get your classes set up on diagnostic questions. Because without classes and without students, whilst your life's gonna be quiet, it's also gonna be pretty boring as well. So let's get that sorted. So log yourself in, and if you haven't got any classes set up, then this My Classes bit that I've got on my page will be pretty blank for, for you, but that's that's absolutely fine. Um, we looked at, uh, in a previous video, how to set up departments and year groups. So you might want to do that before you've set up your classes. It's just going to speed things up a little bit. So whenever you're ready, uh, just hover down and click on Classes. And if your number says zero, don't worry about it, it won't do shortly. So here's a list of all the classes that I've set up and you can see it's sorted them by department and year group and it tells me all the teachers and so on. And um, all you need to do to create a new class is simply come up with a name. So I'm gonna call it something original like magic. Click add class and it'll tell me success, you've created it and then this new page will load up and fingers crossed, there we go. Now I'm signed in as Dumbledore so it immediately assigns me to the class. But I can change that. So if you just hover across here and go to edit, then you can change the, the name of the class if you need to. You can give it a little description if you want. Uh, you can archive it, but you don't really wanna be doing with that if you've just created it. And then, you, this is probably the most important thing. What teachers do you want to be assigned to that class? Now, maybe it's your class, so maybe you just wanna stay there. Maybe you're the head of department, so you'd like to be assigned to all the classes so you can easily access their results, so that's fine. Or maybe it's a split class, so maybe you wanna share it with Snape. Or maybe you've got a TA or something who you also want to associate with that class. It doesn't matter, you can have as many teachers as you want. And um, if you set up your departments, you can choose what department it goes into. If you've set up your year groups, you can choose what year group it goes to, and then simply click update. Now, once that's updated, Fingers crossed, it's all in there. There we can see magic. Now we've got no students in there, but that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna show you um, in, a, in a, well, no, I'll show, forget it, I'll show you now. Um, if you wanna invite your students, click on that, click invite, and what happens, you get a code. All you need to do is give that code to your students. And then when your students sign up to the site, as soon as they've registered with their email address and username, it will ask them, have they got a code? If they type in that code, it will immediately join them to the magic class. You won't need to do a single other thing. It will, next thing, they will appear within that magic class and you'll be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna show you a video, a separate video about how, uh, what it looks like when students actually sign up to do that. But that's all you need to do. Just give them um, an invite code and get them to type it in, okay? Um, and I should say at this point, students can join as many classes as you want. So I know at our school, we've kind of got a, like a lunchtime maths club class. You can have a code for that, so you can have students that belong into more than one class. But to be able to assign uh, quizzes and questions and things to your students, they need to be a member of a class, so you just need to get that set up. Anyway, hopefully that was pretty straightforward. See you later.